So here I'm at the top of this hill this particular day, in the peace and in the sunshine. Sound of a distant tractor, and the sound of these cattle taking great lumps of grass and ripping them off, trapping them around their tongues. They can do it with their tongues, it's amazing. How strong is that? I don't know if you ever tried to take a lump of grass with your hand and pull it out. It's quite a hard job. If you come over here by these trees, you'll see that this one has actually got its head on top of a branch and ripped a branch off a tree that uh, stands up to some terrible storms right at the top of this hill. Let's just put his neck on it and leaned on it and ripped it off. You can see the sort of stress and strain these trees at the top of this hill are going to be taking. And it's just taken its head and ripped a branch clean away from the from the, 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 the root of the tree. I don't know what you think about it, but I reckon this girl's got a bit of a guilty look on her face for what she's been up to. It's not bothering her though, she's still cracking on with the grass underneath. There's a tremendous vision at the beginning of the book of Revelation, Revelation chapter 1 verse 8, where God says, I'm the beginning, I'm the end, I'm the Alpha and the, all, uh, and the Omega, the Almighty. Now for a day of trouble, that's a pretty big vision. If I was ended up in a bit of a ruck, I'd want these cattle on my side. I certainly don't have to go up against them in a straight fight in the middle of this field. But it'd be great to have them on side. How much greater would it be to be going through the days of trouble that we naturally experience in the course of our daily lives? We were with a dear family yesterday, going through just such a difficult, difficult day when words fail you. What matters on days like that is not a vision of lush pastures and beautiful countryside, but a vision of the God who is the beginning and the end, the one who was, who is, and is to come, the one who is almighty and is not against us, but is on our side fighting for us, fighting for his people. What matters in days like that is not the things you can say, but the vision of God upon which we rest. I hope you've enjoyed the vision of this beautiful bit of countryside, but it would be great if today we can lay hold of the vision of this God, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, the one who was and who is and whatever has happened is still yet to come. There's a future planned. The Almighty. God for us. Have a great day.